Okay, here's a video on types of trees. I'm here along the Millennium Trail in Thompson, and there's four types of trees we're learning about in our woodworking class. <clears throat> First one I'll show is trembling aspen, and that's this tree here in front. Where my bike is leaning against. You can tell a trembling aspen because it has a kind of a greenish, greenish white bark, and uh, the bark does not peel off like a birch will. It also has leaves that, that turn yellow and fall off and fall down. That's a trembling aspen. Over here we have a, uh, a pine tree. Lots of times everyone calls anything that's green like this looking Christmas tree a pine tree. But a pine tree has long needles. So you can see how the needles are at least as long as my thumb. They are uh, or as, as long as my thumbnail, even longer. They're close to an inch and a half long. They also have cones that look like this. Kind of hard, compact cones. And they're found, those cones are found throughout all the branches. That's a pine tree. And over here we have what's called a spruce tree. The spruce tree is green, yes. It's an evergreen, same as the pine tree. However, as you look, you can see the needles, compared to my thumb, are much smaller. They're closer to a centimeter long. Okay, and the cones, cones from a spruce tree look kind of like this. They're brown and they flake off easy. That's how you can tell a spruce tree. Now the only one you don't see is a, a birch tree. I will find a birch tree and video that as well. These are all trembling aspen or poplar. They're kind of greenish. They look similar to a birch, but distinct because they don't have bark that peels. All right. Okay, so we're in here looking for a birch tree. There's one here. This is a trembling aspen. Don't confuse it with birch tree, which is right behind it. You can see how it's blatantly more white. <coughs> also, when you... The leaves are also different, but that's uh, harder to tell. When you look... Closely, you can see that there's these... Come on, why isn't it focusing? You can actually peel the bark off in little layers like this. And that is signature of a birch tree. Here's another one. They're rare, or they're harder to find. These birch trees are, are they're fewer and farther between than a poplar or a trembling aspen. But... Um, they are here, and they're amazing because you can peel the bark off, and the bark is actually excellent fire starter. All right, that's a that's a birch tree.